Hello everyone out there, it's John. Welcome back to another review with me. Today, I'm going to be doing, if you can see I have my chopsticks here. Glad I wasn't showing you that too much because I know some people will complain about having chopsticks down in the bowl like that. I should have moved straight across. Anyway, as you can see, I'm doing another ramen noodle review. But this ramen noodle isn't like any other I've done before because this is the first crypto noodle called hodl noodle from simply food which i just checked is out of vietnam and in vietnam they actually have a different name for it it is the bin thai food company branded in the americas as simply food i've never had any uh food or noodles from the simply food brand before but Everything seems very high quality. The uh, the paper lid for this, I don't know if you could see in the, maybe in the reflection of the light, there's like this texture on it. And that's on the inside as well. And it's like, kind of like a, a plasticized paper. And it has a rough texture to it. Don't know why. I don't know if this is specifically for this huddle noodle. Um, thing or if they do that to all their noodle cups like I said this is the first Simply Foods product I've ever tried but as you can see you have a picture of a Bitcoin there you have a picture of this one which I think might be uh, Ethereum and of course the Dogecoin and if you don't know HODL is has like two kind of meanings to it uh, and acronymally it stands for uh, hold on for dear life mm -hmm. and it's also just like a common misspelling of hold uh, and they're talking about mm -hmm. holding your stocks don't sell because in the end you want diamond hands diamond hands was a something tweeted by uh, Tesla CEO um, basically saying you hold on to the end till you get the most money uh, possible and then you can have diamond hands instead of paper hands Paper hands is what you say when you sell before it reaches the top. And the top is commonly referred to as to the moon. And on here somewhere. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but like in these little letterings, little letterings that are kind of faded. But in some of them you can see it says to the moon. And then some like stock name um, GME NOK BB AMC TSLA to the moon so I think that's GameStock Nokia AMC Tesla I'm not sure what BB is Best Buy I don't know we actually see look the lady has diamonds in her hands she's got the doge coin and or the doge the coins up here Bitcoin's here, I think that's Ethereum, and she's on a rocket to the moon, and of course it says stonks, because stonks is uh, the Reddit term for stocks um, in the in the uh, group on Reddit, uh, Wall Street bets or something like that. Anyway, I don't do any stocks or Bitcoin or any type of crypto. Um, I don't really know enough about it to make any type of risks and I don't know I'm just not that interested in it but I am interested in the memes and the culture and the language because pop culture is something we all live with uh, so I thought that'd be cool maybe someone would see this online and think this was interesting and want to know if it was actually good maybe but uh, I'm just go through be there's still a little bit to go through before I actually taste this. So, I described everything on the on the outside. It says in the description that this is flavored with the tears of hodlers. And then underneath it says just joking. But the seasoned packaging actually says hodl tear seasoning. And it has a picture of the tear face, which I think is pretty funny. 
Uh, but in actuality, it is a mushroom vegetable flavor. It is 100% vegan, they say, as well. Um, so it had, this was like salt, sugar, some mushroom powder, um, some green stuff. This one had vegetables in it. Uh, there's carrots in here, cabbage, green onion. And I think there might have been little chunks of mushroom in it as well. I don't know if you can see all that right there. But there's a good amount of vegetables and green stuff in here. If I pick it up, you can see some green stuff all throughout mixed in there. So, pretty good amount, I would say. Oh, and some bell peppers, too. Um, and then it also had an oil packet, which when I tasted that, it was a very light flavor. Uh, one interesting thing I found is that inside the, the bowl... The noodle block was also in its own plastic wrap, a little plastic sealed baggie. So it had the noodles, it had the oil, it had the vegetables, and it had the seasoning powder. So it was actually inside of here, four other packages inside. Um, the instructions don't doesn't say how much water exactly to put in here. It just says on the instructions to add boiling water to submerge noodles. There's no line, there's no exact amount, so all I did was I filled enough water until it was past the noodles. And let's go ahead and finally get to tasting this. Um, because of that, there's not a whole lot of soup in here, but I am going to taste the soup first. Mm. Very strong flavor but I'm thinking that might be because of how little water was in here let's go ahead and taste the noodles themselves the noodles do have a nice bite to them hydrated well. They're not super soft or soggy. But they're easily cut through with your teeth. Overall, the flavor is pretty good. It's light because that mushroom vegetable flavor is never going to be as intense as a a really rich umami meaty flavor um, it's really depending on mushrooms here for that umami and there is some there I'm not saying there's nothing I like it um, they could have easily just made this uh, a bland plain noodle and just sold it on the merits of the label oh just thought of one other thing when you purchase these and I believe the website is <coughs> www.simply-food.com that's s-i-m-p-l-y dash f-o-o-d um, you make a purchase of these also on Amazon the profits are converted to cryptocurrency and given to charities it doesn't say what cryptocurrency is being converted into it doesn't say what charities the money is going to but that's some of the information that's on the website and it has the connection of the crypto Bitcoin so you could possibly be doing some good for something uh, by purchasing this or it could be a charity that you completely disagree with their standards so maybe you want to do some more intra, uh, investigation than I did into that so the overall flavor of this I would say is 
salty mushroomy. There's a tiniest bit hint of some kind of spice, but uh, definitely nothing that anyone with the least amount of spice tolerance will complain about. But I'm glad they actually put together a good flavor for this instead of just going the cheap way. Um, these do have expiration dates on them. Um, even though they're called hodl noodles, you probably shouldn't hold on to them thinking they're going to get better themselves in age or anything. These are uh, a novelty in general, but they taste good. They're meant to be eaten. So unless you're specifically buying this to put on a shelf or something or display and never, ever, ever open, you can do that. But if you're planning to eventually eat these, I suggest that you do so within the dates listed on the packaging. Anyway, this is a good bowl of noodles with an interesting uh, information label, etc. Noodles were good. The flavor was uh, pretty good, I would say. I would give this bowl overall a 7.2 out of 10 when it comes to instant noodle bowls, that is. Anyway, thanks you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Bye.